So 4B is saying at Kamulima farming community, 33 farmers planted sorghum, which is S, 25 planted granites, G, 38 planted maize, M, 15 planted both sorghum and granites, 14 planted both sorghum and maize, 13 planted both granites and uh, maize, 6 farmers planted all the three types of crops now this is um this is nice this is going to this is going to help us start uh, answering our question um first question saying illustrate this information on the venny diagram okay so let's draw the venn diagram okay so this is the rectangle by the way then we are going to draw, so this is a universal set, okay, universal set. Then, how are we going to draw our se uh, sets? So since you have six farmers who planted all the three types, so meaning you are going to have intersection of all the three what? All the three sets. Let me do this. Okay, all the three sets. So this is S for sorghum. This is G for granite, and this is M for maize. And we are asked to what? Illustrate the information to the Venn diagram. We are going to start from the middle part here. So the middle part, you just write the way it is. And we are told that six farmers planted all the uh, three types of crops. So we're going to write six here. Six. That's the first step. Then you go outwards. So this is the f number one, number two. This is the second part. One, two, three. This is the, these are the second what, part. Then we go to this. And finally, outside. If at all we have those who planted nothing. Okay? Then, let's let's start with the, those who planted both sorghum and groundnuts. Um, 15 planted both sorghum and groundnuts. We have 15. So you can just get your 15 and put it here. Remember, there is already a six here, which is on the what? Which is already in the what? Sorghum and granite. So we subtract 15 minus 6. Okay? Just get a calculator quickly. 15 minus 6. Then put write your 9 here. Because when you add 9 plus 16, you're going to get 50. Oh, 9 plus 6, you're going to get 15. Okay? Let's go to um, next is saying 14 planted both sorghum and maize sorghum and maize so come to here they are 14 so we're going to do the same 14 minus z minus 6 okay 14 minus 6 which is 8 so we're going to write it, our 8 Apa. Apa wanaka. good next we have 13 planted both ground nuts and maize 13 planted both ground nuts and what maize so 13 we're going to subtract 13 minus 6 and going to write we're going to write 7 here then you come to part 3 these are parts are part 3 1 2 3 so we come back to the f f first part 33 farmers planted sorghum so in sorghum here there are 33 and out of 33 we already have 9 6 8 so let's add so 9 plus 6 plus 8. Then we're going to subtract this 23. We're going to subtract 23 from 33. 33. Okay. 10. So we're going to put 10 here. Don't put to 33. So that, put 10 so that when you add 10 plus this plus this plus this, it's going to give you this 33. Let's go 20. You do the second one. 25 planted ground nuts here 25 and we already have what one two three okay so we're going to add the these three in ground nuts nine plus six plus seven then we're going to subtract 20 and these three when you add the sum is 27 22 and subtract it from what 25 okay and we're going to get what we're going to get three so we're going to write our three there are we together 
Okay. Then, then the the other thing is um, the other thing is what? Oh, you have maize. You have uh, thirty-eight planted maize. So we're going to, to add one, two, three, eight plus six plus seven. 21 then we go subtract 21 from 38 okay and it's just 17 so you can add what is here and it's going to give you 30 what it's going to give you 38 add what is here it's going to give you 25 here it's going to give you 30 33 okay so it is as simple as this okay now we've answered the first part the second part is saying how many flower how many farmers the second party is saying how many farmers a were in this community together so you add eh? you add so check the easiest way of adding don't add a all the members uh -uh. Just to get one full set, which is let's get sorghum. So you know sorghum is thirty-three. Here is thirty-three. So let's add thirty-three plus three plus seven plus seventeen. Okay. So we're going to write here. Let's say thirty-three plus three plus seven plus seventeen. So it's going, this is going to give us Sikisti. Sikisti farmer, farmers. If you want, you can just get maize. Maize is 30 what? 38. 38 plus 10 plus 9 plus 3. Sikisti. Don't waste time in the exam. No, 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 no. Let's go to... B. How many farmers planted one type, one, one, one type of crop only? So we have 10 plus 3 plus 7, 17, I mean. So 10, we're here, 10 plus 3 plus 17. And you know 17 plus 3 is 20. So it's 30. This is giving, this is giving us 30 farmers. Mm-hmm. 30 farmers. Last question. Um, last question is saying, how many farmers, how many farmers planted two different types of who? crops only? Okay. Two different types of crops. Let's get back. So we have one, two, three, eight, nine seven or seven eight nine so we're going to add seven plus eight plus nine so when you add seven plus eight plus nine we're going to have twenty four so we're going to write twenty four farmers simple twenty four farmers so that's all to this question here under sets okay under sets here very simple right good remember to subscribe if you've enjoyed so we've solved the um, question b uh, 4b